Good morning, guys. I hope your day is off to a good start. You know, I love this time of year. Um, we just got our Christmas tree set up last night. Let me take you guys over to it real quick. We're, we're just going to go for a little walk so you, can, so you can see it. And there it is. I love the way the, uh, the lights look in the dark. It just uh, brings back Christmases uh, from the past. But, um, you know, I think that the Christmas story has come become almost commonplace for us. You know, the nativity story, the little town of Bethlehem, the silent night. But one of my favorite songs, that I, and I've posted the link below, is it's called A Strange Way to Save the World. You know, the Jews uh, at, at, at the time of uh, the Messiah, they were anticipating a political ruler, a big shot Messiah to come and overthrow Rome and uh, to come with all the pomp and circumstance of kingship and rulership. They weren't expecting this lowly uh, carpenter out of this humble Jewish family. And yet God chose that way to save the world. He chose to become, uh, he chose to humble himself and become as a man to die on the cross for our sins and rise from the dead. And it's not what anyone was expecting. It was a strange way to save the world. And in the same way, in the way that God moves in each of our lives, it might not be what we anticipate, but if we'll stay open uh, to whatever God may want to do, we won't miss it. So check out the link below. It's a beautiful song and uh, have a great day.